the prime factorization lesson. So your goal for this lesson is I can write the prime factorizations of composite numbers. The important word here is the word prime and the word factor. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a composite number such as the number 80 and we're going to break that number down into every single prime number um, actually, let me explain that a different way. We're going to break this number down into the factors that are all prime. And so the, the factors that I, the prime factors that I end up with, I should be able to multiply back and get to 80. Now, the way that we do prime factorization is we're going to use these factor trees, which we'll talk about in a second. But what is factoring? So factoring is when I break down a number into smaller numbers that can be multiplied together to equal the original number. And I'm going to give you an example here. So um, the number 70, okay? So the number 70 has many factors. 1 goes into it, 70 goes into it, 2 goes into it, 5 goes into it, on and on and on. But the number 2 and 35 are factors. And the reason why I know this is because 2 times 35 is 70. So these are two smaller numbers that I multiplied together and they equal the original number. But we're not going to do that. We are going to find all the prime numbers that we can multiply together to equal that number. Um, and just like I just explained, keep in mind that you can use multiple um, combinations to equal the same number. So 4 times 2 is 8, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, 1 times 8 is 8, and on and on and on. Okay, so what is prime factorization? So it's that factoring process of breaking down the number, but this time I'm going to break it down so that I only get prime numbers. So here I have the number 24. That's the number I'm giving you. And at first I say, okay, well, 4 times 6 equals 24. But there's a problem. 4 and 6 are not prime numbers, and I want all the prime numbers. So I take the number 4 and I break it down even more. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 is prime and the other 2 is prime. Then I take that 6 and I break it down even more. Well, 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 is prime and 3 is prime. So the prime factorization of 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now if I multiply this back together, I should get 24. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 4 times 6 is 24. And if you kind of look at it, it's the upside down version of that tree. So um, this is kind of what I just explained here. So you can take a look at that. You can pause the video if you need to look at that um, a little longer. Um, here's the thing with prime factorization. It really does not matter how you break up the numbers because as long as you're breaking them up so that they all multiply back together properly you'll end up with the correct answer so here's the example of 24 that we just did but here's another way to break up 24 2 times 12 is 24 so 2 is prime well but then you have this 12 here break that up well 3 times 4 is 12, 3 is prime, 4 is not, i got to break that up more, okay? So 4 breaks up into 2 times 2, and 2's are prime. But watch this, here's a 2, here's a 2, here's a 3, here's a 3, here's a 2, here's a 2, and here's a 2, and here's a 2. So you ended up with the same exact prime factors, no matter how you broke up your tree. Now, as we practice trees, you're going to see me usually start with the number 2. I'm going to say to myself, does 2 go into it? I like to start with 2's because it makes it easier for me. You do not have to start with 2's because like I just showed you, no matter which combination you do, you're always going to end up with the same answer. So here we have the number 18, and to, so to start my tree, I make a little upside down V there. And so I know, the other reason I start with 2 is because 2 is prime. So I'm gonna, I know that 2 goes into 18 because 18 is even. So I'm going to put a 2 there and I'm going to circle it because it's prime. 2 times what equals 18? 9. 9 is not prime because I know 3 goes into it. So I'm going to make another tree. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 is also prime. So the answer to this problem right here, what is the prime factorization of 18, is 2 
times 3 times 3. Well, Miss Oates, where did you get those numbers from? Well, I got them from my circled numbers right here. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 3 is 18. That is a beautiful way to always check your work. All right, over here we have 42, so I'm going to start my tree. I always like to start with 2 because I know it's prime. So 2 times 21 is 42, but I know 21 is not prime because 2 plus 1 is 3, so I know 3 goes into it. So 3 times 7 is 21. Well, 3 is prime, and so is 7. So now I can write 2 times 3 times 7. And some of you may be thinking, well, how do you know when to stop? Well, the problem is going to tell you where to stop, because I've just circled my last two numbers, so I can't break them up anymore. All right, over here I have the number 66, so I'm going to make my treat. I always like to start with 2. 2 goes into 66 33 times. Now I know that 33 looks like a weird number, but the thing is is that it does, it is a composite number because 3 goes into it. 3 plus 3 is 6. So 3 goes into 33 11 times. 3 is prime and so is 11. And so my answer to this problem is 2 times 3 times 11. Now I want to show you something as we look at our answers down here. The other thing I'm going to ask you to do as we get more and more um, in depth into this is learn how to write these with exponents. And so another way to write 3 times 3 is 3 to the second power. And so this is the same thing as this, but it's good practice to write it out that way. The other thing you're going to notice that I'm doing is that I'm writing the numbers in order from least to greatest. So 2, 3, 7, 2, 3, 11. 2, 3, 3. And that's very important too because that's proper format for prime factorization. So let's take a look at some other numbers. So here I have 16. So I know that 2 goes into 16. 2 times 8 is 16. I can break up 8 even more into 2 times 4. And I know 4 is not prime because I can do 2 times 2. So my answer to this one is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or I can write it as 2 to the fourth power. Here I have the number 60. I like to start with 2. And by the way, sometimes 2 won't work. But in this case, it does work. So 2 times 30 is 60. I can break up 30 also by 2. 2 times 15. Now, 2 does not go into 15, but I know 3 does. And so I can do 3 times 5. And 3 and 5 are both prime numbers. And so my answer to this one is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Now, the other way I can write this is 2 to the second power times 3 times 5. And the way I got this is because the 2 is repeated twice. Here, the 2 is repeated 4 times, and so it's to the 4th power. Now I have the number 100, which you, you would think would be really, really, really hard, but it's not. Start with your 2s. So 2 goes into it 50 times. 2 times 50 is 100. Let's break up 50 by 2s. So 2 times 25 is 100. Now 25 cannot be broken up by 2s. And it cannot be broken up by threes, but we can break it up into two fives. Five times five is 25. And so the prime factorization for this one is two times two times five times five. Or we can write it as two to the second power times five to the second power. All right, I want you to go ahead and try these two. Don't let the size of the numbers scare you. Just start with twos and break them up.
All right, so if you're not done, go ahead and pause the video so you can finish your work. If you are done, let's take a look. So for 500, um, again, I'm not going to go through exactly how I broke it up because you may have chose to do it differently. What I care about is did you get the final answer the same? I got 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. The other way to write it is 2 to the second power times 5 to the third power. If you did not get it that way, go back and look at how I broke it up and see where your mistake was. See, the thing with 500 is you could have started by breaking it up by 10s. You could have started by breaking it up by 25s. Um, there was lots of different ways that you could break it up. You don't always have to start with 2, and you don't have to start with a prime number. Over here, 102. Again, I'm not going to go through how I broke it up. You can see it here because you might have done it differently. But what you should have ended up with is 2 times 3 times 17. This number 51 right here, a lot of times kids think that it looks weird and so that they automatically assume it's prime. It is not prime. 5 plus 1 is 6, and 3 goes into 6 evenly, so it is divisible by 3. Okay, go ahead and try these two. All right, go ahead and pause the video if you need more time to work it out. Again, I'm not going to go too in-depth as to my process to get these because you can take a look. Um, you will more than like, you will always end up with the same answer if you break it up differently as long as you do it correctly. So for 132, I got 2 times 2 times 3 times 11, um, which is 2 to the second power times 3 times 11. For 99, I got 3 times 3 times 11, which is also 3 to the second power times 11. All right, that is the end of this lesson. You need to really nail down prime factorization. It's very important going forward. You will not be able to do what we're doing going forward if you do not understand how to prime factor. So make sure you ask me any questions that you have about it.